Teacher, she'll be teaching you practical life skills. We're finally getting practical life skills. My name is Miss Mlea. So, will I learn how to build a machine? Um, unfortunately, it's either cookery or carpentry. Choose one. Cookery to my left and carpentry to my right. Pick what you love and are comfortable with. Remember that you'll be presenting whatever you make on Parents' Day this Saturday. Good luck, kids. Where are you going? To the carpentry side. I want to make a stool. Have you ever seen girls do carpentry? No, because they belong in the kitchen. Carpentry is for boys. This is a very important course. You'll get entrepreneurial skills that will help you find easy employment or self-employment. Doing something I don't even like. A teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a kilo of rice, I hope this pilau comes out just right. What will you cook? I don't know. I don't want to cook. I want to make a stool. But I can't choose carpentry just because I'm a girl. What's stopping me from making a stool? I have the same hands as boys do. Go ahead and cook. What's so bad about cookery? Sometimes I don't enjoy cooking, but my grandma would be proud of me when she sees I'm able to cook pilau. The women in our family are very, very famous for their pilau. There must be another way. Mmm, something smells delicious at Koba's house. Let's go find out. Let's. Maybe the food will cheer me up. Wow, it smells so good and it's not even done yet? Now this is a Koba special. When Koba cooks, you always want more. Just the smell alone brings you in. <laughs> Whatever. It's true though, you really know how to cook. You definitely managed to bring us here just by the smell. I am a match when it comes to cooking. My mother and father love it when I cook. Especially when they're tired from work and come home to find delicious food prepared for them. So, why haven't you joined the cookery group? Wait, the boys cook? Hmm? But you're doing it right now. I've only mastered the skill because there's no one else to cook at home. My parents are usually at work and are tired by the time they come back. And Barack and Wanda are too young to cook. Who taught you then? My mother did. She will teach me during weekends until I master the skill. And now I love cooking. It even relaxes me. Weren't you scared of being teased? I was definitely not happy about it at first because I only saw men cooking at hotels. Plus, everybody says cooking should be done by girls. And boys take on other things like carpentry. Who said it should be that way? I don't know. But they say boys shouldn't cook. That's why I joined the carpentry group. Otherwise, I would have joined the cookery group because I really enjoy cooking now. It helps me relax after a long day at school. Who is they? I think it's always been that way and it'll always be that way. Today, we will practice cooking what you will present on Parents' Day. I will supervise the cookery group more because I am not familiar with carpentry. Wait for the oil to heat. 
Should I remove them? No, they'll cook. It's burning! <coughs> you can't even fry onions? Practical life skills is supposed to give us the opportunity to show our skills and develop our talents. So, let's use this chance to shine! How can I shine if I can't cook? It's such a shame for a girl to not know how to cook. Very good. I can use this tool while I'm cooking, reading, or even resting. My place to shine is in carpentry, not cookery. It's not that I don't want you to do carpentry. I do! And I'd like to try out carpentry too. But they say we have to stick to the jobs for girls. So instead of complaining, I just choose to cook pilau to make my grandmother proud on Parents' Day. Here's a list of ingredients for pilau. And once you get home, ask your mother to buy you the ingredients for pilau. And make sure you practice before you become the laughing stock on Parents' Day. Who decided what jobs each gender should do? And why decide based on gender? Who gave them the authority to decide these things? Take me to the market, please. Let me give you a hand. Thank you. Hmm, Mom, was your driver a woman? Hmm, no. Why? This license belongs to a woman. Interesting. We have to return it to the station. I'll take it back on my way to Kibena's. Hmm. I've never seen this person before. Have you ever seen a woman drive a bajaj? This job is for men only. <laughs> so, would a woman really disguise herself as a man just to drive a bajaji? Or did a passenger drop it and he's holding on to it for her? Stand up, sit down. Stand up, sit down. Jump, jump, jump. Stand up, sit down. Stand up, sit down. Stand up, sit down. Jump, jump, jump. Stand up, sit down. You look surprised, but yup, Uncle T has indeed started a daycare for baby animals. <laughs> <laughs> a daycare, Uncle T? If you had said Mamandege, I would have believed Why you. Why wouldn't I be able to take care of babies? We're used to seeing female animals take care of babies. <laughs> Some stereotype needs to be broken. It's good that you came, Kidochu. You can help me to make a list of baby food to go buy and stock up for tomorrow. In order to make enough porridge for everyone, you need 10 grams of flour for each of the five chicks, 20 grams for the baby frog, 30 grams for the baby monkey, and 60 grams for the baby elephant. You need a total of 160 grams of flour. So, when more babies join your daycare, how will you keep track of how much more flour you need to buy? We just need to know the average amount of flour used per baby animal so that when there are more babies, we know how much more to add for each additional baby. Average? Yes, the average is the total of all gram kilos of flour needed divided by the number of babies it will be distributed to. Like in our example, you have five tens. Add those together and you get 50. 
50 plus 20 equals 70. Then 70 plus 30 equals 100. And 100 plus 60 equals to 160. Now, if you want to get the average, you know what would you do? We divide by 8 since there are 8 baby animals in total. 160 divided by 8 is 20. So the average amount of flour is 20 grams. So on average, every baby animal eats 20 grams of flour. So when a new baby animal joins, we add another 20 grams to our total. Exactly. Knowing the average really helps us to estimate. Wow! Congrats, Uncle T. I admire your confidence. And I've learned that a male giraffe like you can run a daycare. It doesn't just have to be women who care for babies. There's no job for a specific animal or gender. Everyone should be able to do the job they like and can. Well, I love carpentry, but my teacher says it's for boys only. No such thing. There are some developments that are lacking or are delayed simply because girls and boys are not given equal opportunities. Both genders have to be given equal chances to develop their skills and talents which can be done by allowing them to do what they love and want without forcing gender traditions on them. Working together will teach young boys and girls to respect each other and team up which will bring personal sustainable development and benefit their society. I wish you could tell Miss Mleo that. I've told you already. Now it's up to you to tell your friends and Miss... <laughs> I don't know... Mleo! Hey. I'm going to study carpentry. Kidulchu, what's the problem? Carpentry is boys' work. We're only different because of our gender. But there's no difference in what we can do or what we prefer to do. So, we deserve equal opportunities. That's true. We have the right to live happily. I agree. We have to show them to win them over. I've already told you that carpentry is boys only. Why are you being so stubborn? Even girls can do carpentry too. You're just not used to it. Everyone has the right to be happy, the right to be healthy, and treated with equality. All boys and girls deserve to be given equal opportunities to make their dreams reality. Who has decided which jobs are to be done by boys and which jobs to be done by girls? It's not right. We should all join hands and change our ways of life to free them from all gender ties and achieve sustainable development. My gender shouldn't cost my talent supported and not challenged and if we all are taught in the same environment we'll learn to work together and respect each other who has decided which jobs are to be done by boys and which jobs to be done by girls it's not right we should all join hands and change our ways of life To free them from all gender ties And achieve sustainable development Oh beautiful girl, on your gender with pride No need of deceiving, just to make a living of our lives but it always begins with you who has decided which jobs are to be done by boys and which jobs to be done by girls it's not right we should all join hands and change our ways of life to free them from all
all gender ties and achieve sustainable development. I stand with my brothers. I stand with my sisters. I stand with my brothers. I stand with my sisters. All right, do what you love and are comfortable with. But keep in mind, your parents and guardians are coming this evening. You need to impress them. This new generation. Hurry! Your parents are almost here! Guess who made it? Ta-da! I did! Wait until you test this pilau. I'm a great chef, Miss Maya. And who crafted this spoon? Me! I know! My granddaughter has many talents. Bibi! Job well done, Kibena. Keep it up. Really? Kibena says you prefer her cooking pilau because all women in your family are famous for it. Not at all. I love seeing my granddaughter doing well in whatever she loves. And who said it was only the woman in our family that made pilau? Your grandfather always made delicious pilau too. Really? Of course. Even the men in our family are great cooks. But you are good at carpentry. So you don't assign jobs based on gender, Bibi Kibena? Never. I prefer it when people do what they love, regardless of their gender. From this day, I would love to see my students do what they love without basing it on their gender. Who has decided which jobs are to be done by boys and which jobs to be done by girls? Mathematics, mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length, solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat your garlic, you count your bites. In a pared, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you have gone far. Here's something else for you to count. Can you count the teeth in my mouth? We can measure width, length and depth and represent with X, Y and Z. Math is used for everything. Just do the numbers in your head. Now try to add up all the spots on my neck. How many do you see? And I even use math to get leaves off the tree. Yeah.
not right. We should all join hands and change our ways of life to free them from all gender ties and achieve sustainable development. Kuwa kwanza kujua wakati video mpya za Ubongo Kids ziko hewani. Iunge na Ubongo Kids YouTube leo. Ni rahisi sana. Ingia kwenye app ya YouTube kwenye simu yako au kompyuta yako. Kisha andika Ubongo Kids na utapelekwa kwenye ukurasa wetu. Bonyeza subscribe au jiunge. Kisha anza kuangalia video za Ubongo Kids. Usikose kuelimika na kuburudika na Ubongo Kids YouTube. Inanoga. Yeah!